Hey guys, long time no see. How you guys doing? It feels like forever since I made my last video, which is insane. Like, I don't remember what the last topic was about. And, whew, it's, it's been a long time, I feel like. So, this week is Celebrity Crush Week on A Chance of Romance. And let's just say I have quite a few celebrity crushes, and I narrowed it down to a top six list. So, here we go. Number six on the list is Justin Bieber. Now, the only reason I even thought about putting Justin Bieber on my list is because of what Adam said in his video yesterday about me. And Adam, look at these pictures. Tell me how hot that is. I mean, wouldn't you date that? I mean, that's just so attractive at a man, right? Number five is Brendan Fraser. You guys are probably wondering what the fuck. But look at this guy. I mean, come on. Him in the Mummy movies was like drop dead sexy. I mean, his hair is just so fucking awesome. Not to mention, I like his smile. I think it's fucking awesome. I mean, he's funny. I mean, and who doesn't love a guy who can shoot a gun? I mean, come on. Next is, of course, I'm pretty sure, I'm shocked not everyone has had this guy on the list, Brad Pitt. In Fight Club and all that other shit, wow. Come on now, it's fucking Brad Pitt. And he looks so fucking awesome in Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. That was, like, his all-time best look ever was in a tuxedo. It's like, I think so, at least. Um, not to mention, he, I like guys with short hair, and he pulls off the short hair look like a fucking boss. I mean, come on. Next on the list is Enrique Iglesias. Now, guys, come on. Look at him. He's Enrique Iglesias. No person on the planet can look at him and be like, he's ugly, because you just can't. He's Enrique Iglesias. He is like all-time perfect everything. I mean, look at him. He's like a god, like body-wise at least. I don't know his personality. I've never met the guy. But damn, like just physically, A+. Plus. Now, next on the list is Blake McGraw. Not a lot of people know who he is. I mean, look at him. Not, a few people have seen him on So You Think He Can Dance, also on American Idol. He's really good. He makes his own music. Um, I've used it in a couple of my videos on my main channel, like The Night, Relax, etc. Um, he has, like, insanely perfect hair, and he can dance like a fucking boss. I mean, holy shit. And there's, like no reason to not think he's attractive. I mean, besides the fact that in his videos he does look like he can come off as an arrogant asshole, but hey, I guess douchebags are attractive-ish, so I can't complain, all right? Next on the list is Organicism. Now, not a lot of people know who he is either. I mean, he's a very small celebrity, um, but he's gonna blow up real big really soon. I mean, look at this guy. I mean, look at him. Short hair, like I said, I love the short hair, it's fucking awesome. He's really tall, really nice, doesn't come off as a douchebag in most of his videos. I mean, hey, this, this guy's a star in the making, right? So you can't just pass him up. Stop messaging me on Skype, please. Thank you. And, and come on, you guys just gotta look at him and be like, damn, look at that fine piece of white chocolate right there. I mean, right? Nigga, I'm gonna cut you. I'm gonna end this take now. And the last one on the list, obviously, for number one, Vin Diesel. I mean, you could have saw that shit coming, right? But I have an obsession with Vin Diesel. I think he's like one of the best actors in the fucking planet. Body-wise, he's god. I mean, he pulls off the bald head look thing perfectly. Like, I can't stand bald guys, but I totally go for Vin Diesel. Just saying. And he could pull off black. Now, I don't mean, like, the fucking emo shit, drag, black thing. I mean, like, plain black t-shirt, black jeans. I mean, he can pull that off perfectly. And he just looks like a badass altogether. I mean, come on, if God was to come down to Earth and pick a body, Vin Diesel would be his pick. No doubt about it. 
Sorry for the poorly made video this week, guys. I mean, I'm really, really not in the mood to be making videos, but I know I have to make one, so I made it. Hopefully next week's video will be a little bit more creative and well put together than this one is. I mean, I know this is a pretty shitty video, um, but hey, you get what you get. I mean, so I'm the one behind the camera. You aren't. Um, so peace out, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Go watch everybody else's videos this week. They all made fucking awesome videos, and also watch Eric's video tomorrow, and yeah, that's really it, so have a good day.